everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I've got this really cute little Easter decoration. So it's a little hanging, um, yeah, decoration. <laughs> um, this is using um, supplies from my hobby base kit this month. Um, obviously it's Wednesday, so it's always a hobby base um, monthly um, uh, project using the monthly kits that I receive. So this is really, really easy to do, but it's just showcasing lots of the bits that we received in our kit this month. And I loved it, it's so, so good. So what I've done is, first of all, bring in here. So this is the die. It's kind of, I'd say the main status die within the pack, because we've got um, the Happy Easter dies as well. But this is the bunny and it's really, really nice. It's by Sweet Dixie and it's the bunny rabbit. And um, yeah, it just, it's just got a really, really lovely design about it. And as I said before, it wasn't something that initially, I think if it was in the shop, I probably wouldn't have gone for it. But that's the thing I like about these craft kits is that it forces you to maybe use things that you wouldn't necessarily buy. And I'm able to create it in a style that I like. Um, so yeah, that's what I've done with this one. So I've die cut three of them and these two are already stuck together and I'm gonna be sticking this one on top in a minute. And then I've coloured it myself using the really lovely um, dandelion memento yellow that comes in the kit. So it's just ways to use that ink as well and make your own. I mean that, you know, you think that was cut from yellow cardstock, but it's not. Then you get um, this, one of the stamp sets is this Easter egg and it is, where did I put it? Here we go. So this is the... We had another stamp set as well, but this one here, it's got cheap, cheap above it. I've just cut that bit off. You can just put masking tape over that, pop it in your ink pad, then lift the masking tape off and stamp, and you would just have the egg, but I've just I've just cut it. So, um, but there it is, that's just this nice, simple um, Easter egg. Um, I've already done one, I'm gonna be doing another one with you. Then the flowers, we've received these lovely um, paper flowers here. Um, and I've used three of the yellow ones. I've only got two yellow left, but that'll still be okay. And then I've just grabbed some of my own ribbon and then done a few little other bits with just some scrap card. The doily is completely optional. It didn't come in the kit, but I have a load of these doilies and I do want to get using them. Um, and I've just got some all different ones here and I just thought the white one would be lovely. And again, you could distress that with the yellow around the edges, but if you haven't got the doilies, it really doesn't matter. It would still look lovely just on a simple, you know, circle background. So that's what I've done. So to get what it's gonna be on is I've just die cut two pieces of card. Um, obviously you can use any color you want just from my stash. This particular die here measures, um, it's four and a quarter diameter. But if you don't have any dies, you can use um, a, a small plate or a large cup, um, a little bowl, anything, and you'll be able to get that and then just cut it out. So again, it's you know it's easy ways to do this without having all the bits and pieces. So first of all, I am going to stick these together and pop my ribbon in between. So kind of get the base all, because um, it's really strong, it's a really sturdy, you know, that's not gonna bend. That's a real solid little piece, so it hangs lovely. Um, I'm gonna grab some of my wet glue and just add this to the edge, just so I get it obviously nice and secure, and then just put it in the gaps there. Like so. And then with the ribbon, I am, this ribbon is uh, 14 inches and I'm basically just going to put each piece flat inside like so. Doing this one a little bit longer than the other one so they can all hang at kind of different lengths. Then I'm just going to grab some more of the wet glue, put it back over the top of that ribbon. Okay. And then just very neatly, you want to stick your disc over the top. So you're sandwiching that all together, like so. So it, that's how it will look if you don't have the doily. So already still that's lovely because you're going to be dressing it up and covering it with lots and lots of pieces. But I am going to grab one of mine. And these are just from the baking departments in any of the shops. So these um, are very, very inexpensive. So a good thing to have in your stash. And I'm only putting it in the middle. I don't need it everywhere else. Keep 
pop my lid back on there so it doesn't leak. And then just sit that over and it slightly overhangs, which is nice as well. And it just completely covers that up. You don't want to go too mad with glue on doilies because it's so thin, it can end up almost disintegrating. So I'm just putting a little bit there in the middle. So all that's lifted, but again, it just all adds to it. Okay, so now I know that that's obviously the, the right way up. So I want to keep that all nice. Okay, um, leave that to one side, just let that set. And I'm going to go back to my little bunnies here. So I cut, die cut three, and I've got the two here. And again, if I just bring it up there for you to see, it is such a lovely detailed one. And this one cuts and embosses. So if you can see, there's little bits of embossed detail around it as well. So it's a really detailed one, lovely. So I'm just going to stick this one. I'm just going to pop some glue in my hand, just so I can stick this down. And then we can get it all inked up. Okay, just start from a, one of the edges and you can kind of move it around until it's in place. And I always kind of, you know, layer up my dies, especially intricate ones like this, because the bottom two I'd, I'd done um, in preparation for this, so I'd done this yesterday. Um, but if I drop it, you can hear how hard, it's a real solid piece. Um, and these are lovely, again, if you're ever bored and you just want to do something in your craft room, just die cut lots of things and sit them on top of each other. You end up making really nice, I always say they look, they end up, you know, forming almost like a wood veneer kind of, um, uh, st you know, st structure. You know, they're so strong and then they're perfect for all kinds of things. So, yeah, something I love doing is that. Okay, so grab some scrappy paper and then we're going to ink it up. Now, this ink comes out almost a lot darker, um, almost like mustard colour, but once it dries and sets, it's this beautiful, really spring, lovely, fresh yellow. And basically, I just go over and just rub it over it. It's as simple as that. And straight away, it transforms. And if you want to do, like, a different colour here, you could then add pink, you could do blue, you could do all sorts. But these are such good little um, tools to have these little ink pads because they're great, you know, for little bits like this. So you don't have those great big ink pads everywhere. So like so, if you want to do underneath, you can. You can go around the sides there as well. Just to obviously get a bit more color coming through. I'm not gonna go worry too much because again, this is lying down. But if you were having this as hanging on its own like this, then I would suggest do that side as well. Put some ribbon through one of these little holes and you could just have them hanging. Because my mum has one, um, she's got a beautiful twig tree which she uses at Easter and she has little like um, porcelain eggs hanging from it, little homemade. One of these will hang from it. Um, you know, this it's just nice, it's the, it's the Easter tree, so it looks very pretty. So there you go, so that's that one all done. And while I'm here, I'm also just gonna ink a bit of this paper to make this strip here underneath where it says Happy Easter. These are two pieces of paper um, or card and this yellow one I also just coloured. Um, so I'm just rubbing it just over my card like so. And then straight away it gives you some yellow card. So again, don't worry if you don't have card, if you've got lots of inks and just make your own colour card. You really need a little bit. Like so. So like I said, as that now slowly sits and dries, it will slightly lighten in colour and it's really, really nice. So I'm going to sit that to one side. Now I'm going to do a little bit of heat embossing and create this Easter egg here. So basically that is heat embossed with white embossing powder and then with a paintbrush and some water, I've coloured that in myself with the same yellow ink. So again, I'm going to show you how to use that with water. Um, now, Last month in the February kit, we had the Shampers embossing powder. So you could use that one. If that's the only embossing powder you have and you're just starting up, um, then use the Shampers one. It will look lovely with this project. But I have also got the same product, the Wow, which is the same as the, the Shampers was the Wow one as well, but this is the white. So I'm just gonna use some of the white today. Um, so I'm just using my anti-static little tool here, just over my card, just so I don't get any um, bits going where I don't want to and I also get rid of any grease marks okay, and, and so on. Grab some of your um, watermark 
ink ink the stamp up so this is that Easter egg and just stamp that down like so okay I can just about see that there you possibly will pick it up maybe not but it is there <laughs> and then I am going to grab my embossing powder just sprinkle that over the top and try and shake it back in here like so Try and use a thickish white card if you're doing this because we're going to be applying a little bit of water onto it. The thicker the card, the better. Um, obviously, if you've got a watercolour card, then you know I'd say maybe use that. But this isn't. This is just a thick card. It's about 280 GSM. So you can see there the image is now stuck. The powder is stuck to the image there. So I've just got my heat gum. Get it nice and hot. And that's that now all done. So if I bring that up, can you see now that shine? that that white embossing powder is created. So basically now when I colour that in, the colour won't go out over the lines and it will leave you this effect here. So it's still got that shine, but everything's coloured in with the yellow and still gives you that really nice um, detail. Obviously if you want to use all different coloured inks you can, but I'm just showing you obviously with what's come in the kit here. So now what I've got is a little bit of water in a well here. I've got a clear um, acrylic block and I'm literally just gonna rub some of that yellow just onto the block. And then I've just got a little bit of tissue here. Get my brush nice and wet. Dab it off a bit, I don't want it really, really wet. And then I'm just gonna pick up that yellow here and then basically just go over now and color in your egg. And I'm just going straight over everything. I'm just staying within the, the main outer part of the egg. Just keep picking up more. Obviously, if it's you pick it up now, the second time, it's going to be a lot drier, so you'll get a more intense colour. Like so. And then if you add more water again, you kind of dilute it down. You can wash it all over. Again, you don't have to be too, too careful with this. So if staying within the lines isn't something you're good at, this is going to be good for you because you've got that raised edge from the embossing powder, so it stops you... Um, you know going over which certainly stops the colour running over anyway so you can see how quickly that was I'm going to just make it a little bit darker so I'm just going to apply some more of my ink and just pick that up now without putting it in you can see there you get a more intense yellow and that white embossed area really pops and like I said if you're using that champers you'll get exactly the same and because the champers is you know is that creamy golden colour that will work really nice with this yellow as well and again just kind of go around until you're happy so it's quite a dry it's not a very wet area um, so you don't want to you don't want to drench this paper with water because like I said it will just end up you know going all horrible really so there you go just rinse that off and I'm just going to just take the rest of that water out of there. I'll just wipe that down clean so that's all very quickly done. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit more heat on it and just dry okay, that off. So that's now nice and dry and all set. If I just bring that up now, you can see how lovely that is. You got a really lovely looking egg. So now I'm just going to quickly fussy cut that, leaving a little bit of a white border. Just, just like I've done there. Again, it's just a nice simple shape, so it's very easy to just go around. Okay, so that's now finished, and I've got my two little eggs ready to build up. Okay, so there's another stage done. Then, um, also, I've got this lovely happy, happy, birthday, happy Easter sentiment, and that is from the free other free die that came. So this is it. I, I'm a huge fan of X cut dies. I do really like them. They always cut lovely. Um, and this one is the happy Easter. So again, I've cut three of them out. So I've cut three of the Easter word, three of the happy word, stuck them all on top of each other, just like you saw me do with the bunny there. And it just gives you this really nice, thick sentiment. Okay, so it's, it's just, it just gives it a bit more than just that completely flat word. And I've also die cut a little um, Easter egg as well. And it's so tiny that I think I've lost it. So let me, oh no, there it is. Really, really small. You can see there what it's like. Okay, so I've die cut that as well. So have all those ready. And then I'm just gonna take out 
the flowers. And also you get these embellishments, these tiny little mini, min, mini, mini two millimeter adhesive, adhesive stones. I can't speak today. I don't know what's wrong. Um, and these are so small, but they fit perfectly within the eye part of the bunny. So if you can see there, just in here, a tiny little embellishment and again it's one of those things that when you're you've got it here in you know real life you do notice it so it's just those little details and it's, these are perfect for that so I'll be using one of them so I'm just going to grab the two yellow ones now they come on metal like stems but I always cut them off because I'm never gonna where did I just put it oh there it is um yeah they're just much much easier to stick down so I just cut them off just with normal scissors they're very very thin right up to the edge there so you get a completely flat base and now they're perfect for stick, sticking in place so let's go back to this and first of all I'm going to stick the bunny down because that is going right in the middle of our little doily here or our circle okay so all you need to do is just put some glue on the main areas on the back so obviously the ears you've got a nice big surface area there and then I'll put a little bit around the eyes around the top there just on any of the larger areas and, and focus on that kind of outer part. Again, you don't need a lot. It's only a very lightweight little decorative piece, so you don't need to go crazy with all your adhesives and stuff. And put a little bit around the centre there, just so. Because you don't want all this glue kind of splodging through the sides and although it dries clear, you don't really want it to be coming out all over your project, like so. So again, like I said, just pop it nice and centered, like so. So that's all in place. Then you wanna put the X down. So I've got one that's kind of like so, and then I've got another one like that. So we've got the sentiment going over the top. So I'm just gonna splodge a bit of glue and have it like that. This one's kind of coming off the doily a little bit, which again is nice. It just gives a bit more dimension to it. Kind of balances it all out as well. So that one can be there. Stick that last little one down in a minute. Now we need to, so I've just got this little thin die here, which I'm gonna use just to die cut out that yellow. Um, and then I'll show you how to just get a really simple white border around the outside of that so just quickly run this one through okay so now we've got a lovely perfect yellow strip and then don't need that anymore because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop a little bit of tape on the back of this And then this piece of card I've got here has got a nice um, corner. I have to rub that piece out there actually. Maybe I can use this same bit here because it hasn't got yellow all the way around. Yeah, I'm going to use this bit because that one's a little bit rough. But this has got a nice edge. I'm use that bit down there. I can just get away with it. So I'm going to pop it right down into the corner, just giving it a tiny, almost like just a couple of millimetre little frame, like so. And I'm using my bigger scissors so I can get a nice cut. So I'm just going to do the same border up that side and then in one big cut so you get a nice straight line. I'm going to go all the way down that side there. Just there we go. So now you've just got a nice little framed, and that's a good way to just make any kind of if you've got little sentiments that you want to stamp, it's a good way just to create that kind of frame. Then stick on our happy Easter. And the reason I've done it is just to make that word pop so you can see it with that yellow background. I just thought it stood out a bit more. So again, I'm just gonna pop some glue on my hand just to get this all stuck down. Bit of glue onto the back of that. Happy. And again, okay. Easter. So now we can stick that one down the top of our bunny. So again, I'm just gonna rub some glue over the back of this and then sit that one down. So it's literally just sitting on the bottom of the bunny. 
and make sure it's all nice and even, like so. And that tiny little egg, tiny little bit of glue, I should have my tweezers really, it's going to just sit again on top of those. And then the flowers, you can use hot glue, I'm just going to pick up the last of this glue here. And they're just kind of sitting. just above the bunny, like so. If you've got any glitter pens, gel pens, Win Costello, things like that, you can obviously apply that as well, just to give it a bit of shine. But there you have it, a really quick little decorative, you know, hanging. And these are lovely to put inside cards. You can give these to people as a little gift that way as well. Um, but there you have it, so I've got two there that are gonna look really nice hanging on the little twig tree, as I call it. Um, and yeah, I just think they make lovely gifts and you can obviously, you know, design these however you want. But that is using a lot of the product from this month's March Hobby Base kit. Um, if you are interested or you'd like to know more about that kit, you can um, just click on the links below this video, um, which I always share all of those as well over on my blog. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.